When you're pregnant, you have eight trillion decisions to make about the birth of your baby. I'm a pediatrician and father of five. It feels like I'm getting asked a lot lately about delayed cord clamping. And I'm not gonna lie to you, delayed cord clamping can really be taken to the extreme, but let's at least talk about the risks versus the benefits. So in most deliveries, delaying when they clamp that umbilical cord has some honest to goodness health benefits. It increases the amount of iron in your baby's blood, and it increases the amount of blood in your baby's blood. And this is protective against big bad scaries like necrotizing enterocolitis and intraventricular hemorrhages. And those, are bad. Delayed cord clamping might even help your baby with future developmental milestones. One minor risk to delayed cord clamping is with all those extra red blood cells floating around, your child has a slightly increased chance of getting something called hyperbilirubinemia, which is the little molecule that causes jaundice. I'm not great at TikTok. That last clip took me six or seven tries before I got it right. But I will say, all in all, the evidence is pretty clear. If everything is going well in that delivery, delaying when they clamp that cord by 30 to 60 seconds is a pretty good idea. Keep in mind that if your baby needs a little bit of help breathing or is having a hard time transitioning, your doctor might choose to skip all of this in order to focus on more important and immediate needs. But don't fret, your child is still gonna grow up and go to Harvard, I promise. Let me know in the comments your biggest worry about delivery or newborn care, and make sure you follow for more evidence-based kid content from a pediatrician.